always visit my farms two to three days in a week if I have time. And uh, that is Nachirevi, Nakaseke, Nakasongora. When I have time, I usually make sure that I visit. Why? Because I decided to make this as a serious business because many people are doing farming but uh, they are not doing it as a serious business they are just doing it for prestige and various reasons but for me i make sure that first of all i do it as a business secondly it's my passion i love it that is why i dedicate those two to three days to make sure that i see what is moving on on the farm and what is really happening at the farm the reason why um, speaking that is because many people are there and they think that uh, you need a whole week to be on the ground at the farm inspecting different works being done. But that's not the case. You can do it as a side hustle. You can do farming as a side hustle but making sure that you know everything that is happening at your farm. Even though you can be doing other things but still you can do this farming as a side hustle. So, I'm going to give you steps what to consider how you're going to turn a good farm that you have started as a side hustle to give you really a lot of money. So, keep with me as I'm going to give you some insights and uh, various tips on what you're required to do so that you really make a successful lucrative business but as a side hustle number one is a research making research going to various people and uh, you acquire that knowledge because if you do research and education on this particular venture that you want to come in then that means you're not going to get to different challenges that usually hit these newcomers because a newcomer who has not done research or has not tried to know what kind of challenges that this business is going to come in every challenge is going to hit him directly meaning he was not briefed about that you can get this challenge you can do this challenge. so there is high chances of quitting <laughs> that business of yours so what i would advise you go make research about the breeds that you want to keep about the challenges that uh, go we goat farmers are facing and the market for these goats where are you going to sell them what kind of market are you going to to target slaughter market or are you going to do breeding so it is very important to always look at that that is our number one. Number two is to create a business plan. Because if you do a business plan, it will help you to know what you need, your target, your mission, your goal, and you are going to be having a driver with a, a, with a permit. Meaning that you're going to move every step that you're going to make, it will be giving you what you're supposed to do. So it is very, very important to also note that. Again, a business proposals we always do business proposals and if you check our website the business proposals are already there they will help you to know how much you need to inquire when are you going to get the return on investments and everything that is required by that business so it is very beneficial number three is selection of the right breed that you're going to do to, to keep because it is good to know the available market in your area and what people are really buying a lot. Which type of breed are they interested in? If you do that, it will help you to keep goats that uh, you're not going to stay with them when no one is going to buy them. So it is better to know the breed. Are you going to look at savannas? Are you going to do boars? Are you going to do dairy? So it will help you to know which type of breed that they're going to keep. It will help you to sell them very fast whenever you require money so it is better to know that if you want your side hustle not to give you headache when it comes to market yes another factor that you have to consider is to invest in quality stock if you have decided to do goat farming don't just go and buy poor quality goats you go and buy goats that are able to produce goats that are having nice healthy trains goats that are going to be productive don't buy all very old goats don't buy goats that are having problems that's why we say you buy from reputable breeders or you buy from people you know that they will give you the exact 
are gods that you need to do that venture of yours. But do you know that mine up here is getting, huh? even it has started raining. That means that in December, in December, I will start, I will start making my silage. So I'm having one month to start harvesting this, and my goats are going to start enjoying silage from Napier. Because for me, I, I don't focus much into uh, uh, silage that is coming from corn because corn is expensive for me. But the Napier, I cut and it comes back, and it is also serving well to my goats. Uh, when it comes to silage. Another factor, utilize technology, guys. The technology has come. We are in the global village. It is better to enter into groups of various farmers, people that are under your niche, to know various challenges and various successes that are, they have reached on. So, it will help you even to market your brand, your business, and uh, you start selling your goods online, selling to people from various groups that you are in. So I would advise you to use that technology instead of making yourself to be given little money by these local people, village people, you can get people who will give you enough money and who will take those animals of yours in all quantities that you want them to take when they are giving you serious amount of money. So it is very, very critical and essential if you utilize technology. Another factor is you to make networks with the local farmers, your neighbors and what. Here it will help you to more understand the business that you've entered. And uh, these people will help you to understand it well because some of them might be already in this venture for a good period of time. So as you a beginner who is not even going to be there, you need to acquire knowledge and skills of how you're going to manage your business knowing the ups and downs of this venture and it will help you to get solution for the problems but when you're acquiring those skills from these people that you're networking with. Of course, if you have decided to keep goods and you want to make this business your side hustle that is going to be profitable for you, on the first day, you should start doing record keeping. Detailed record keeping, it will help you to know the stage of where you have started, where you have reached, type of animals that you have started with, number of them. It will help you the diseases that are hitting you. It will give you the direction of how you are operating this farm of yours. So, someone who wants to do goat farming, I, I understand that record keeping is very, very essential. I get even pissed sometimes I go to different farms and you ask for a record, a record book when they don't have it. Are you doing business or you're just doing something better? You're keeping your animals for your home consumption. But if you're making sure that you want to be a serious breeder, then you should start with record keeping and knowing at the trends of animals. If I come to your farm and I say that, is the father of that goat. You have to show me the father, you have to show me the mother. But that one usually it is easier for someone who is having many goats but still doing record keeping. Then the last, the last thing that you have to be doing is regular learning and adapting. If you're going to start and you have gone to one farmer, don't think that that information that you have acquired from him, it is enough to push you uh, for the time that you're going to keep these animals. No, guys. You have to continue learning. Every time you have to continue learning, knowing something new, knowing different market strategies, knowing different breeds of animals, knowing the different opportunities that have come to the venture. It will help you to always be informed and knowing different things that you're supposed to do. Those are the steps that I've told you, that the insights that you have to follow. Because I know many people here that are watching me have various uh, streams of money that uh, they get, they have various jobs, but still they, will, they may wonder that can I do goat farming as a side hustle? My answer is yes, because for me, whenever I'm not at the farm, I'm in the office. If I'm not in the office, I'm at the farm. So it makes me busy when I'm, I leave the farm. And uh, when I'm, I'm not at the farm, then I'm also doing other things at the office. But still, I'm very sure that if you follow those uh, footsteps, things will going to be very, very well. And 
this side hustle uh, after operating it and it is working properly for you you can even turn it as your main job and uh, you can leave the paid employment thing and you decided to stay at your farm if really if your farm is paying you more than what they would have paid you at the work now, those are things that i usually uh, communicate to you and i make sure that uh, I discuss with you. I really love some comments that you guys give me. You give me that energy and power of always giving you such information because I know it is very valuable. I inspire some of you guys who are here. My age mates, eh? I inspire everyone who would do such serious work. You don't need to be a very old person to do these things. No, you can do them you can do them it is just it needs you to be you believe in yourself that is number one you have passion for it and you decide when you 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 step one leg and you say that i have started then you shouldn't stop i'm assuring you we get a lot of obstacles along the way but still we persist and we continue to move because we know what we want i keep on sharing to you this information telling you that you can do it. You acquire your land. You acquire where you're going to work from. Start with one goat, three goats. Keep on adding. In a month, add another goat. Add two goats. You'll keep on buying, 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 buying. At the end of year, you'll see when you're having like 100 goats. Are you seeing? You've been saving your money into uh, uh, making investment, yet you're saving. Now when you get like 500,000 Ugandan shillings, you say that, now I want to pay 100,000. For my God, you keep on paying slowly, slowly. So you see that you're moving. The Baganda we say, mpola, mpola. Or keeping a otambula, mpola, mpola. So I love you guys, and uh, that is the reason why I keep on sharing with you such things because I know they are really uh, beneficial and you need them very, very much. Because things can be done. These things are not very expensive that like people fear them. And it does not require you a lot of money that you have to inject in directly. You can do things slowly by slowly. Now you look at my fence here. Imagine this is what I fenced. <laughs> my land here. Huh? You see? This is the free fencing I, I talked about in one of my previous videos that I made. Are you looking at this? Eh? This is the first. Very simple. Very simple. Eh? So, those people will say that in your 20s you cannot do these things. I pity you guys. You can do. Just yes, believe in yourself and hard work. Be even in law. I know God on your side, everything can work out very well very well thank you very much guys this was an insight video and i wanted to share you because i usually want to share a video that uh, connects me and you directly in heart and you feel that you're conversing with me directly and we become a, a concrete oh to be one to be and uh to be one and uh I have used that language because I want to pass on this information and you know that I really love you and I care for you. Just share this video to your people that uh, I have been thinking that these things are not doable. These things are very, 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 um, what I can say, you can do them. They are possible. Everyone can do it. I will make a video. I'm going to share with you my history. What I have passed through. To see that I can create such things. Thank you very much. May the Lord God bless you all. Assalamu alaikum.